It just, it like, it just brings it all back, you know? What's happening, free game? We are coming to you live, but not live, from London in our home. We are back after our lovely trip in Paris, and Minnie Mouse has joined us here. Yeah, look. There's the hood coming on, it really yeah. is. Oh, goodness. Mm. We're not doing a whole video like that. No, I won't do it all <laughs> like that. It's cute though. It's very cute. We're really, really excited to do this video. Thank you so much for all of the questions you've asked about Jojo homeschooling. There's so many, I've got them all on the laptop here. So if you see us looking down, that's why. We're not being rude. A lot of you guys have asked similar or the same questions and we're not going to be saying who asked what because there are so many. So if you hear your question come up, you know that you asked it. And Jojo, by the way, is actually in Jamie's room. He will be joining us at the end of this video because you guys have got some questions specifically for him, so stick around for that. And can I just say, uh, stay tuned till the end of the video because Bob has got something really special to share with you guys <laughs> that he wrote when Jojo left school. Well, let's get this Q&A underway first then. The first one, has Jojo ever been to a school or has he been homeschooled for his entire life? No, he's... And the first two years of school, he went to a Montessori nursery. And then he had the first year in reception. Reception, and then he went into year one. But instead of going into year two, that's when we took him out and started homeschooling him. Was Sam and Jamie homeschooled? And if not, or if so, why? Uh, no, they weren't. And it was never on our radars, really. We didn't even really know about homeschooling. Yeah, I knew about homeschooling, but I didn't know if it was an option. You were working full time. Mm. Yeah, I had a job. And um, I asked them recently if they feel jealous that Jojo's homeschooled and they weren't homeschooled. But they said, no, we wouldn't have wanted to be homeschooled. Mm. So yeah, I probably wouldn't have homeschooled them. I don't think they would have wanted to be homeschooled. Why did we start homeschooling Jojo? We actually did a video all about this, 10 reasons on why we started homeschooling him. You can check that video up in the corner. It'll give you a lot more detail, but in general... We just felt it was best for him. Yeah. You know, we just felt that it would serve him better with his learning, with his confidence. Yeah, just his development in general, really. But there's lots of other reasons, so it's worth checking that video out. Is there any specific schedule you go by? We don't really have any strict schedule there. It's not a strict sh schedule, but we tend to just go with what Jojo wants. He wakes up at seven. We start at seven normally and go through till 12 because that's what he wants. Yeah. If you want to see our morning routine, we have done a video yes. on our morning routine. But yeah, we've just found a, a, a really lovely routine in the morning. It sort of works for all of us. That routine really only applies when we're at home. When we're traveling, we do have a homeschooling box which we take around, which has all his things in there, his books, pens, things like that. But we don't stick to any kind of routine when we're away. Yeah, because obviously environments and everything change. And sometimes yeah. the traveling and environment is something new for him to learn about as well. After 12, that's when we do vlogging or we'll go out or we'll do other stuff. His learning doesn't stop at 12, yeah. but that's when the structure stops. Yeah. The reason we don't vlog in the morning is because it would be difficult to give him our full attention yeah. and be vlogging at the same time. Do we know other families at home school? Yes, lots. We knew loads of homeschooling families before we started homeschooling yeah. and we've met lots since then. It's really good because we learn lots of things from them and they learn from us as well. And, and Jojo's friends with many kids as well. Yeah, and he's made loads of friends that way as well. Do you follow a set curriculum when homeschooling Jojo? And as he gets older, will you consider online schooling? As we said, we've got our structure in the morning. The only things that we kind of say are necessary for him in his development are maths, reading, and writing. Like those are the key things he needs to go out in the world. He's also doing Spanish regularly in the morning. He even started doing French. He's just, after Paris, he's like, I want to learn French. Yeah, so he's doing two languages at the moment. As for online schooling, we use some online resources. There are so yeah. many out there, but you use, uh, you use Spanish online, don't you? Yeah, there's quite a few different things online that we use. There's a few yeah. different sites as well that are designed for homeschooling or things to learn from from home, even for kids that are in public school. So yeah, there's plenty to choose from. And maybe as he gets older, he might have more, he might have less, we don't know. What subjects does he do in a day? So we said, yeah, maths, English, Spanish, the, the reading and writing, but also other things will come in according to what he enjoys and what he's interested in. So like he's, you know, he's, he's done some painting earlier today. Was it yesterday you were making something with old cereal boxes and something, weren't you? Yeah, I guess that comes under art, doesn't it? Yeah, and there's lots of other new things he's starting to learn as well. He's learning about music. He's gonna get piano lessons. He's gonna learn about woodwork as well. Lots of different things he's interested in. He does acting, school, parkour. Swimming. 
trampoline is. So I guess that would come under PE. It's like his life is one big PE lesson, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> How does Jojo do tests like SATs and 11 plus papers? He doesn't do any tests. He doesn't have to do it, it's not a requirement. I feel that it, that it would be too stressful for him anyway. Yeah. So luckily when he was in school, they didn't do those kind of tests. I think it would have started in year two with yeah. SAT. So yeah, he was very lucky because I think he would have found the whole thing very stressful. What good advice do you have about homeschooling and what would you like to accomplish from it? I guess for advice, you've just got to know what supports your child best, what makes them thrive, what environments, what things will support them best. We are not 100% saying that homeschooling is for every single child. There are some no. kids that thrive in a schooling environment and only in a schooling environment. So I guess you've got to know what works best for your child. This is something we decided for a very long time. So we had to really evaluate, is it best for him? Will he get the best out of it? And in a year that's gone by, I think, you know, he has. And we're always learning for it. You know, you've yeah. got to listen to your children. What do they want to do? Yeah. We're always learning from him how to do things better yeah. all sorts of things and as far as accomplishments I just personally I just want him to be the best he can be learn what he wants to learn and just follow his joys and you know it's our job to support him to make sure he gets those things in life or whatever they may be I think it's what every parent wants for their child you want your child to be happy that's like paramount and that's what we feel we just want him to be happy and live a full life and do all the things that he wants to do and I guess in homeschooling we have direct influence of him him achieving those goals in his life don't we yeah is it expensive um oh no <laughs> i haven't even really thought of an expense i don't feel like we're spending anything no well we just manage our money really yeah. well in london we have so many amazing resources we have the best parks ever like anywhere the museums yeah the natural museums. history museum science museum are all free we're joined with a few homeschooling groups and there's so many resources on there telling you where to find free things. There's free art lessons out there, dance lessons. Yeah. Like I said, we recycle a lot of things like cereal boxes and things like that. We'll take all these things he wants to donate once a month to a charity shop. And then he'll go around the charity shop and choose things like one time we got a spirograph so that he can draw certain patterns and things like that. Yeah. We get games there, all sorts of things. I mean, some things you have to buy new paints pens we had an abundance of that stuff already yeah. didn't we yeah. pens paper yeah. the thing is most parents buy stationery for their children anyway regardless yeah. of if they're homeschooled or they go to normal school i don't think um, we bought any new pens since he's been homeschooled because he had so many he had so many and when it's his birthday you know people often give gifts of pens paper pencils all that kind of thing we bought some like exercise books to help him practice his handwriting but again we bought those things for him when he was at school because yeah. you know we always like to do extra things for him to help support him at school i mean we're just very very good at managing our money anyway as you know from our video when we went to america for six weeks a lot of people were saying how did you afford that and then when we did the video about how we afforded it people were like oh my goodness i can't believe how you managed to go and how cheap it was and a lot of people said that they'd probably go off the back of that video yeah. so yeah in general we're just really good at managing our money well this is a good question is it fun to homeschool jojo yes yeah, I love it. We have the most fun. We come up with all different ways of teaching him with fun games and everything, don't we, as well? Yeah. And I guess it's just nice having him here all the time, isn't it? Oh, this is a funny one. What about socialisation? <laughs> They've got three laughing emojis, look. <laughs> <laughs> now, in all seriousness, has home education lived up to your expectations? Oh, it's beyond my expectations. I didn't know what I expected, to be honest. I was a bit, like, nervous at first because I didn't know how it would be, but just to see him now yeah. and just see how much he's thriving and how confident he is and he's just, uh, like, a different boy, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, it's just nice as well. I think I had in my head before, oh, you have to be this serious teaching stuff like that and you don't realise how much you know about teaching kids because obviously you've gone through it yourself and as parents we're the first teachers anyway we, we get used to communicating information to our kids in general and yeah. we had to do that a lot with jojo when he was young it's definitely exceeded our expectations yeah how much does it cost with books and is there a criteria of what he has to learn so you follow a plan like so yeah we don't haven't really spent anything on books or anything i mean like he that. had when he was in normal school tons and tons of books yeah over 100 and he loves the library all, free the, book, books, all yeah. the books there are free and they do have 
books at the library which help you with homeschooling as well. Mm. For criteria, there's no criteria we have to follow. We are the ones that judge on this. There is obviously is a national curriculum which we have a rough idea about and we can reference if we want, if we want to get ideas or know what things can be helped for him. As I said earlier, we just structure it to what we find is necessary for him and also what he's interested in and you know enjoys. Would you let Jojo go to mainstream school if he wanted or would you rather keep him at home? Oh no, absolutely, we'd let him go. That's One, what he wanted. Yeah, 100%. If he wanted to go tomorrow, he would go. Yeah. We would never try and no, stop No, that school him. ends tomorrow. <laughs> oh yeah, it's the, it's the summer holidays. Yeah. But otherwise, yes. Maybe we would try and think of a way of getting him into a, like a Montessori school or something like that, a school that maybe serves him better. But yeah, definitely um, we would find a school that suited him if he wanted to go. Oh, I like this one. What do you parents learn while teaching Jojo? So much! <laughs> Spanish, Briggs, for starters. I'm fluent in Spanish. No, you're not. <laughs> No, I've learnt so much Spanish and I've learnt Spanish songs. Yo soy un hombre. Colores, colores. <laughs> Did we just say I'm a man and colours, colours? Off camera, Jojo has just entered the room and is now playing with Lego there. <laughs> I think what I've learned the most is how simple it actually can be teaching your own child things because you know them best, you know what they respond to. And it's amazing seeing how we as humans learn as well. And then you learn how to teach based on that as well. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think I know what I mean. Yeah, and, and you know, things that he's interested in, if I don't know about them, then I go and find out. Yeah. And then I learn at the same time, so. Yeah. And also there's things as well, which we would have been maybe taught as kids because they're not taught in school, and he may be interested in. And because he's interested in, and we learn it with him, we're finding out stuff for the first time ourselves. Homeschooling all around then. Do you as parents ever feel overwhelmed with teaching him things? No, not at all. I felt very, very comfortable. Maybe I could have thought before that it could have been overwhelming, but it hasn't yeah. been. I felt more overwhelmed with the homework that he used to get. Yes, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's been quite a breeze. It's been really pleasant actually, hasn't it? Yeah. Does he get the social skills he needs? Yes, absolutely. He gets yeah. more social skills, if anything, because he's in a bigger variety of areas with a bigger variety of people. And he's meeting people of different ages, not just the same 30 that would be in a class or maybe a bit more in other classes, similar ages i mean we were at the park yesterday and there were some boys there and he just went can i play with you and the boy just went yeah it and then they started a game yeah. of it and um, they were playing and messing around yeah, for half an hour or yeah something. and you could hear them talking to each other but i think they were similar age kids yeah. but i've seen jojo interact with older children he interacts really well with younger ones as well yeah he you know he's got so much time for like toddlers and babies and adults as well i mean sometimes when we're at festivals and people come up to meet us and they're a bit shy and they don't know what to say jojo says oh hello you had a nice day <laughs> yeah he leads the conversation he's a natural leader anyway yeah especially with kids if he ends up playing with a kid he ends up leading the games and guiding them and they're almost like following him like what do i do yeah except when it comes to sienna yes there's an equal energy there they kind of lead each other but yeah for the most part he's very comfortable talking to anybody that's one good thing about homeschooling is say he comes shopping with us and he wants to buy something we don't buy it for him say for example it's a lego set today he, yeah in argos yeah because we've been out today he took um the thing that he wanted to buy he took it up to the counter spoke to the lady he's not having a right old chin wag for ages yeah yeah <laughs> we just find he's just so comfortable in in all environments and those of you that have met him at any festivals and stuff like that you will know firsthand that he's very confident he's very social he has all of those skills that you need to engage with other people. If you do want to see him, look in the description. We have a list of the different events that we are going to be at. You can come up and meet us and you can see how sociable he is. Do we or Jojo ever feel like he would get on better at school as he'd be able to socialise with new people? As we've just said, we're very confident in how sociable he is and his social skills. He was very confident and popular at school. He had a lot of friends at school, but I just feel like he's a lot more sociable now. Yeah. Yeah, so... It's gone up, if anything, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's gone up. Also, as far as school goes, he was placed in a classroom which he didn't choose to be in. So, with the things he does outside of school, like his acting class, 
um, parkour lessons, things like that. All the children there all have the same thing in common. So they get on better, you know. So in that respect, it's good. It's, it's really good for him. Yeah, he chooses a social circle based on his interests. Yeah, it? it's easier for him to choose friends because they're all like similar things. They're all know? matched. Is there anything you're glad you don't have to do with homeschooling? Yes, mornings. Ah, oh, the mornings. Yeah, particularly on a cold, freezing winter's day. Because it's dark, he doesn't wake up as naturally early, does he? No. Because he has to get ready and there's a lot of things he has to do before we head out, before we headed out the door. We had to get up even earlier. So it was still dark. He, he never wanted to get up. We would wake up to an alarm, which is never a nice thing. Alarmed awake. <laughs> yeah, alarmed awake. And it was just the whole thing just felt very stressful. He didn't want to get up, so it was like, come on, come on, up you get, you got to get, get up. And he was like, why? And I was like, because you're going to be late. But he didn't understand so much. Um, yeah, and it, then you waste time explaining it. He w always likes to eat slowly and enjoys it. As you know, he eats a lot. So trying to rush him to eat didn't feel r like the right thing to do. Mm. And then rushing him to get washed, brush his teeth, get dressed, get everything ready. And he never wanted to leave especially on a cold day a lot of parents have said similar things that it's just such a struggle to get out the door and it's just stressful yeah. it's just really stressful for the children especially in the winter when you've got to put hats gloves scarves everything on them as well everyone knows as well what it's like with young children you're trying to get out the door and you think oh yeah i'm on time i'm on time and then something will happen like they will need the toilet or they've forgotten something or they want to and schools aren't very forgiving. His school, if we were late, we had to go through the office and then write down why we were late. And like sometimes it can be the smallest thing, like we got halfway down the road and then he needed the toilet. So we had to go back and I felt like, why am I having to explain? I'm a grown yeah. adult and I'm having to explain this. We're only late like probably three times, yeah. but I just didn't even feel that part in because I thought I'm not explaining myself. This situation is stressful enough. I've had to go all the way home to sort him out and then come all the way and, and, it's, and it's stressful for me, it's stressful for him. And then the school's asking me to then fill in this form. Yeah, in general, it was just a stressful thing in the morning, wasn't it? I feel like I can handle a certain amount of stress, but it's well documented the effects that stress has on our body. And as a parent, I don't like to feel like my child is stressed over things. Even though we've always been very calm with him, but you know, sometimes you've got to sort of be like, come on, come on, come on out the door. Yeah, you're going to the school schedule, aren't you? That's the thing, it's like, you have to be by a certain place by a certain time. And that's one thing I definitely don't miss, that we have a schedule which is according to his needs. He wakes mm. and gets dressed and everything when he feels ready. And then also there was a thing after school where he'd come out exhausted, sometimes upset and want to carry on the way back. When you haven't seen your child for like five hours and you think, what's happened? You know, he's so tired and now I left him this morning and he was happy. Mm. Um, he just came out absolutely exhausted. I guess it's because it's a lot for him to have to do. Whereas here, if he needs a break from his learning, he has a break. Yeah, you if know. he wants to get outside, he can get outside. Roughly how much work does he have to complete per day? There's no requirement. We. Like we say, we have the things we like him to do, which we find necessary, but we follow him really and what he is capable of. Sometimes he can go, can I just do a little bit of writing, Daddy? We're like, okay, fine. And then another day, he'll do literally eight hours as we're playing Tom Riddle's diary and he is writing, we're back and forth. And we can't believe how long it's going on for. Yeah, because he likes Harry Potter, there's this thing called Tom Riddle's diary. So you just communicate back and forth with words on the paper. And so I can ask him a question and he'll give me the answer. And then he'll ask me a question and I give him the answer. And we have done about 10 pages in a row before yeah. of that. So yeah, it's just following what he wants to do, isn't it? Yeah, but there's no actual quota we have to follow. Okay, there's quite a few questions from this person. Did you join homeschool groups? I'll tackle these one at a time. Yes, before we decided to homeschool, when we were thinking about it, we joined some you UK Facebook groups, Homeschooling UK, Home Education UK, and they're really good because they know that parents who are curious are gonna have certain questions because parents on there are ones that have gone through the same process. So they have lots of resources on there. They have a really good support community, so they will answer your questions or almost validate your feelings and thoughts. Yeah, and we've found so many uh, resources that way, so many like articles about homeschooling. Yeah, you've asked if that's something we pay for? No, so it's, it's free groups and there's other free online sites. There'll be 
homeschooling groups in every area that people live yeah. in. You I'd know. be surprised if there isn't a Facebook group for every single area. Should I research local homeschool groups and what I should expect for them? Facebook is a good place to start. You can do a Google search for your area. Also, do you love it or are there days you wish he was going to school? I 100% never wish he would have gone to school since we've done this. I've enjoyed every single day and the variety and just the fun experiences he gets out of it and the fun experiences we have. Yeah, he's just always learning and mm. it's just so nice to see. He's just thriving. Who teaches Jojo? It varies. I guess mostly I will do maths. He's a maths genius. A-level maths genius. You've done Spanish mostly. We both do reading and writing. And then whatever other things he might be interested in, again, it varies, doesn't it? Yeah. Like you've done more, probably more arty things with him. Yeah. But then I do more of the physical things with him. I, I don't know. Yeah. It just varies, yeah. We both dance as well. We do dance with him. I'm the better dancer though. Someone said, where does Jojo meet his friends? So this will be a variety of things, like if he goes to certain clubs or groups that he's interested in, or when he goes to parks. Even on our different travels, there are people that we meet in different areas. Like last year, we went down to the Canva Sands, then we went to Brighton, then we went to the other way. And in each location, he met up with different kids and became friends, some of them yeah. pen pals, and we've met since again, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, like Talmina and Wolfie. We met them at a festival. He's... We ended up going to the beach with them. Now they're friends, and yeah. he gets on really well with them both. And Michelle and Andy, they're little boy Bruce, they oh, live yeah. in the Isle of Wight. Bruce, and yeah. Yeah, he's good friends with them. But yeah, he meets them in all different areas. That's the great thing here. Then he gets to choose where he wants. We don't depend on him getting friends at school or one particular area. Yeah, also he plays with the children outside, you know, yeah, outside where we live. They all love him here. You know, they all sort of look after him. Some of them are a bit older, so. Yeah. He even plays with one of you, Free Gang. You know who I'm talking about. You were playing with him outside quite recently. Did you guys teach him to read yourselves or was that something he learned before? No, he learned to read by the time he was like two years old. Yeah. He's had a book in front of his face since he was literally a week old. There is a picture, and I hope it's on the screen now, of me trying to read him a book. And he looks like a bored old man, like, oh, my dad, won't he shut up? But he's loved books ever since, and he picked up reading very quickly, and he's a very competent reader. He's probably... I think he reads at the age of about 10 to 11 years old, yeah, 9 to 10. Yeah, he's 7, but he reads like a, yeah, like a 10 to 11 year old. He likes chapter books, but he likes picture books as well. We went to the library today and uh, he got one chapter book and I think four picture books. Also, do you have any tips for parents homeschooling their kids? Just find your community, find a homeschooling community, get on the online groups, learn as much as you can, watch videos on YouTube about it. Communicate with your child and just find out what they want. Sit down with them and find out what the sort of things that they want to do. And trust yourself as well. Trust that you are the parent, you are the one that brought them into this world. You are their first teacher before they even touched any sort of school if they have been to school. Just know that you're the one that knows them best and knows mm. what will support them best. Mm. And go with your instincts, yeah. you know. Trust your instincts. What are the requirements according to the government to be homeschooled? The requirements are that you just have to deregister your child. Yeah, if they're in school. If at... they're in school, you just have to deregister them. The law states that it is your responsibility to educate your child. So school is more of something that you can opt into. The responsibility to educate a child lies with the parents, so homeschooling is perfectly legal. Do you feel that he is restricted from learning things that he would at school? Uh, no, not at all. He, he will learn more. There's a national curriculum which teaches him only a certain amount, but if he wants to learn music, he doesn't have to wait until he's well, a year six or seven. Yeah, or sometimes at school they say we're going to start doing piano lessons in year five. They don't normally do languages. Until like, high school? Yeah, I think they do a bit of languages nowadays, yeah. but they don't properly do languages until high school, so he can learn so much whenever he wants to learn it, yeah. really. And we're teaching the things as well, which is never even really considered in the curriculum. He learns about nutrition, he learns about his body, he learns about how his immune system works, he learns about food and everything that it contains and what different things our food does to us. For those of you who watch all of our videos, you know that we allow our kids to do the shopping. That isn't something we just do for YouTube. That is something they do all the time. I've actually done it for years with the big kids as well. They were doing that when they were Jojo's age. Before YouTube was actually around. <laughs> yeah, and that's because it gives them a sense of how much things cost. You Responsibility know. of providing for the family. Yeah, and money and how far their money can go and how to budget for things. Yeah, now Jojo, like when we're in the supermarket, he understands all the labels and he'll say, oh, this one's reduced. Yeah, yeah, yeah he knows that he, he's, if he goes for the reduced things and he's on a budget, his money will go further. You can hear him playing there. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> You've probably heard him playing the whole time. I think the great thing is, is that whatever his interests or joys are, he can start them whenever he wants. He doesn't have to wait until they're provided for him. Do you think jo- that Jojo will ever have a better future in school? Um, at the moment, no, I don't think so. But who knows? Like we say, he may choose to go into school when he's older. But based on how he's doing now and what his requirements are and what his interests are, I think that he's getting the best from homeschooling. Does Jojo not miss his old friends from public school? No, because he can still go and see them whenever he wants and he does. Luckily, his old school, there's a park right next door and all the parents and children congregate in the park at the end of the day. So we tend to go down there maybe once a week. And yeah, we'll go down there tomorrow. It's the, the school's last day, so all the parents and all the children will be there having their picnics, so we can just join them and he'll get to see his old friends. But he gets invited by them for their parties and that still as well, has play dates with them with certain ones that he's kept in touch with. One of them was at his party as well. Does Jojo ever go into school to take part in projects or plays and things like that? He doesn't ever go into his old school, but he does go back to his nursery and he reads to the little kids. He's read a few times to them. I think we actually captured it in a vlog one day. Mm. And he was sat there reading. and I mean, that just goes to show his social skills and his confidence that he'll go and read the entire class. He actually went and read in a school when we went to Denmark to two sets of kids. Have you taken Jojo on learning trips like they have at school? Um, yeah, well, that's a great thing. There's all of those things available to us whenever we want. The museums, for example, we go there. There's different friends of ours that do different things of interest for him. So we've got a friend who's a fireman. He's going to go and see them. There's a person who lives on a boat. He's going to go and see them, see how they run the boat. Um, there's other different things as well, like castles and all of these different trips. They're available for us all around the year. And the great thing is we can take him when other kids are at school and it's relatively quiet and it's, it means he can get a lot more out of the day mm. and he can even probably get the attention of people who work there to give him a tour more information things like that so if anything yeah. he's got it better in a way yeah we're, we're lucky because we have a lot of people a lot of friends family athletes my brother's a policeman so anything jojo wants if he wants to have like a, a day with him and he can take him out and yeah. you know teach him all about what he does. We know two firemen, so he can go down the station, find out how they do everything there. We've also got a couple of friends who are athletes as well. One's a yoga teacher, another one's a world champion parkour athlete. Yeah, and Jojo was lucky enough to spend the day with him and we filmed that day. And the video is absolutely amazing. If you haven't seen that video already, check that out because I just feel like he was so lucky to have that lesson. Yeah, and the great thing was, it wasn't just Tim, who was a parkour athlete, teaching Jojo. Jojo took it on to teach him as well and say, let's do these different things and try these different things. I think that is probably my favourite video that we've ever done. If you watch it, you, you will yeah. see why. Go on with that video and leave us some comments on what you think, guys. We'd love to hear them as well. If Jojo was to stay homeschooled until SATS GCSEs, would he have the right education? He doesn't have to do SATS. I'm not, we're not bothered about him doing SATS. Mm. But as far as GCSEs, contrary to popular belief, you don't actually need GCSEs mm. to go to college or university. But if he wants to do GCSEs and we feel that it's right for him, then we will get whatever help if he needs any yeah, yeah. you can get revision based on previous papers online and stuff yeah, like and that. Yeah, you and you can do GCSEs privately. My dad recently went to university and he didn't have any GCSEs. He basically wrote an amazing essay for them and showed them what he could do. And he got into the university and he, now he has a degree in photography. And a lot of the big universities like Oxford and Cambridge have actually been known to seek out homeschooled kids specifically because they're the sort of kids that are motivated themselves they don't need necessarily a structure that is maybe implemented by school with a bell of where to be and what times to turn up and stuff like that they motivate themselves to get results and do their own things and they really like that so homeschool kids have been picked up by Oxford and Cambridge before and many other ones in the US as well do different teachers come to teach Jojo well, he goes to certain people to learn different things. Most of what he learns is from us, but if we feel like there's something we can't teach him, then he'll go to a tutor and learn from them. Yeah. But at the moment, we can cover everything. Do you recommend homeschooling? Um, it, it depends on your child. It depends what serves them best. So if you're a parent, I guess you just have to know what is going to support your kid best. If you're a kid, you've got to know yourself. Yeah. How long do you do his lessons for? Uh, like we said, these can vary it depends on how much he's enjoying it. it could be something that he goes does writing for 10 minutes we could do it for eight hours so yeah it varies on depending on eight hours yeah that's what it felt like when we were doing that tom riddle's diary yes how often do you homeschool jojo and does he get the same holidays as if he wasn't homeschooled 
That's a good question. Yeah, at first we were doing it every day, weren't yeah, we? Yeah, because we felt that that's what he needed and that's what he was more than happy to do. Yeah, and he was really enthused, wasn't he? But then we just felt like we needed more structure with it. Because at weekends we tend to be at festivals and other events, don't we? Yeah, so we basically started doing Monday to Friday. We always do homeschooling even in the school holidays, yeah. though, because when other children are at school, we sometimes take holidays then. So it balances it out. Sometimes we're travelling and our morning routine won't be the same because we'll be traveling or we'll be somewhere else so it balances it out really, yeah doesn't it? so we're, it's school holidays now well school holidays start tomorrow and we'll still be homeschooling him unless we go away at some point like i said even when we are away we take his box with us there are certain things he does every day no matter what even if it's a weekend <laughs> reading he does every single day 365 days a year even christmas <laughs> he will read his book so how do you reprimand him um Firstly, we don't reprimand him. Is that that means discipline? We don't. Yeah. yeah, we don't really discipline him. No, we make him aware of how certain actions may make other people feel because yeah. he's very empathetic and he makes the right decisions off the back of that knowledge. Yeah. So, for example, if we're in a crowded place and he's jumping around a lot, and we say to him, Jojo, you've got to stop, stop doing that. Yeah, like, you might bash into someone. Yeah. We kneel down in front of him. We make eye contact with him and we say, if you were to hit another person with your foot, because he. Yeah, yeah, he's oftentimes he's doing um, cartwheels and handstands and yeah we say if you were to hurt someone with your foot then maybe that might make them cry or upset them I think that works best for him he understands completely we often say to him how do you think that makes the person feel like say he did something naughty and we said right you can't have your iPad now he would only not do that thing because he didn't want his iPad taken yeah, he away learn the reason he, why it's... he wouldn't learn empathy and I think that's a lot of times why children don't learn empathy we They're... used to fall into that trap didn't yeah we, we? we did used to do the to. same yeah. yeah we used to do that because we thought that that was the best thing but we feel it's really important for him to know why he shouldn't do a certain thing. We feel that that way just develops his empathy and, and helps him to care about people more and be more mindful of his actions. Yeah. Obviously, if he was running around and went to run in the road or something, we might stop him and say, Jojo, what are you doing or something? That's very dangerous. I guess the reason why you ask this is because in school environments, there are some kids that misbehave. What I think it's important to know is that if we ever notice any sign where he might be getting frustrated at doing something, we change the environment, we can take him out, we can provide something new, a new stimulation of some sort so therefore he doesn't get to the point where he would ever do something that would require any sort of discipline or reprimanding also you mentioned do we not think that our limited knowledge will stop him getting a full balanced education which will set him back from others when he goes to secondary school my sister's a teacher and we know a lot of teachers anyway don't yeah, we yeah sounds like our friends uh, training to be one we've got a friend who's a headmaster they don't know everything they look at their curriculum for the week they look at what they're going to teach the children or maybe even that day say it's a history subject on like the battle of hastings or something they'll quickly go 1066. over 1066 yeah. 66. not that limited are we <laughs> <laughs> they'll go over and they'll say right this is what i'm teaching and they'll read the textbook to the children and they will learn at the same time so teachers don't often know everything they they're learning with the children as they go along yeah it's the same with us really and i've got and, three a levels and I gcse mean, he i mean he is <laughs> so clever like ask him to spell any word how are they going to ask that they'll be spelling it in the comments <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But, Comment below. <laughs> like, he's got an IQ of like 140. He's really good at writing. But we're, we're, I think the point is we're, we're good in the ways we need to be for Jojo because yeah. we know him. And like we say, if there's certain things we're not sure about, we go and find them out. Um, as far as like going to secondary school and what might be higher education, if we ever felt that we got in a position where we can't teach him enough, we'd get a tutor in or something yeah, like that. Yeah, any subject that we feel that we can't teach him, then he, he'll have a tutor for it. Does he go to public school once a week or not? No, um, full homeschool. Do you believe having Jojo homeschooled that he's learning about the outside world? Absolutely, more than he ever could. For those of you guys who watch all our videos, you know that we travel a lot to various places around the UK, around Europe, America, wherever and he gets so much out of going to these places. And we teach him as we go, we teach him about the environment, the trees, nature, different buildings, environments, cultures, all of these things. He was learning so much in Paris, it was unbelievable. And we didn't take him there for an educational trip. Just today, we've been out for most of the day and we went to a stall and we bought fruit and he was learning about how much 
each piece of fruit weighed. And the weight and the per, weight yeah. and how much everything cost. He learned about the word compromise today, diversion. And then he learns these words. And then we basically say to him, now give us an example of where you would use that word. And he straight away will give us an example. Yeah. And then when we get home, we'll say, why don't we teach you how to spell that word? So yeah, being out and about, it really, really enhances his learning. And it's a different environment. It's new things to look at, new smells, new senses, yeah. everything being stimulated. We, we, I think there's like studies that show when children are in schools with the same environment, same four walls, same people, it's firing the same neurons in the brain. Limiting a bit, isn't it? Yeah, whereas when we're in different environments, then you fire in new neurons in the brain. Yes. Might not be applicable to every kid, but that's what the studies are yeah. saying for the majority. Are, are we, well, it's how we feel about it. It is definitely the case with Jojo. It was very apparent, actually, when he was about seven months old. And we took him to yeah, Florida yeah, yeah, yeah. for two weeks. And he was in different parks all the time, different colours, shapes, environments, smells. He developed so he much. He developed didn't so much in that time. Pulled himself up, started walking. I did. Yeah, he started saying, making more sounds, different words. Came it, back a different child, really, didn't he? Yeah, he was, like, he was like a different child. So he is a child that really thrives, always being in different environments. And Jojo's joined us. So how do you get work for him? Do we get it photocopied and sent to us, or do we get textbooks? We've got a few workbooks, textbooks, haven't we? Which we bought before he was homeschooled. Yeah. But like I said, my sister's a teacher. She yeah. teaches similar age group to Jojo, so she gives me anything I need as well, any resources. Will he be doing exams at home? If we feel he needs exams, then we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. We, you know, it's not something on our radar right now, I guess. Where does he get his supplies? Everywhere, really, don't you? We, we Like we said earlier, we pick up bits and pieces wherever we go. Mm. Is it easier or harder than you thought it would be? And are you going to continue? Yes, we're going to completely continue as long as we feel it serves Jojo best and he is happy. Probably easier than I thought it would be. Because it was something we didn't know about, we were wondering, weren't we like what's it going to be like but it's been a real joy i think yeah <laughs> what are you doing and he's gone again <laughs> what has jojo been learning this year so yeah we talked about the everyday subjects that we do but he did a project on trees before he wrote his own story he's made a comic book he's done all sorts of things hasn't he He's done, he's done loads of physical things as well, parkour with Tim, obviously, and Felix he's done yoga with. Yeah, he's done all sorts, really. He's done yeah. he, He's done everything that he would have got in school, but more. Yeah. Really, every subject and more. Mm. It feels weird there's a gap where he used to be there. Yeah. Let's leave the gap, though, because he'll probably come yeah. back. Do you think Jojo is academically more advanced than the kids his age? We know from the time he was in school, he was. He was well beyond expectations for reading and maths. He's always been really academically clever yeah you know? and yeah. it feels like he's just gone up another level since we've homeschooled him doesn't it yeah. yeah have you seen a change in jojo since homeschooling absolutely within a week of him coming out of school and finishing he was so much happier he was full of so much energy his confidence it just it was just such a dramatic change and as time's gone by that's only increased really hasn't it mm. oh and you made the comment from your videos jojo always appears to be outgoing and friendly to all thank you for noticing he is very outgoing and friendly have you had any issues with your local authority and if so how did you handle it We've had no issues whatsoever. They've been really, really supportive, haven't they? Yeah. How do you feel about homeschooling a child with autism, moderate end of the spectrum? You just got to think to yourself, is it right for them? Yeah. You know, go with how you feel. Maybe in the holidays, test out a few things that you try out. Get on support groups, Facebook groups, as there's any other parents that have got kids with autism and they're homeschooling them. Ask them what it's like, maybe. Yeah. I mean, we know some kids with autism that, that are homeschooled. And it's done really good for them, hasn't it? Yeah. And we know some autistic children that are in mainstream school and they thrive very yeah. well in mainstream school but if it depends on the it, child yeah it just depends on the child okay so that is all for all the questions that you asked us but now we've got a handful of questions for jojo come on jojo this is your moment to shine okay you ready for your questions yeah so first question jojo did you want to be homeschooled of course i did <laughs> simple as that do you want to go to school in the future um maybe i don't know yeah Maybe. Yeah. yeah, maybe, maybe. What is Jojo's favourite part of homeschooling? Mm, I think maths. You like doing maths? That's your favourite thing? Yeah. Do you prefer being homeschooled or do you miss going to mainstream public school? Homeschooling. Yeah? Mm. Okay. This one isn't to do with homeschooling, but what is your favourite country? Oh, Denmark. Denmark? Any others? Um, there's like, what's that, America? I like America too. I like America too. Oh, and also I think Crete. Crete, Greece. Oh, Greece, Greece, yeah. yeah. Oh, Greece is lovely. Someone said, what is your favourite homeschooling subject? And you said it was maths, right? 
Yeah. Are you glad that you went to school for a few years or do you wish that you hadn't? I think I was like glad I enjoyed it first year. Yeah. I wasn't glad I enjoyed it second. Did it get more a bit more difficult, does it? Yeah, because it gets more difficult and difficult when you go through the years because it makes you do harder stuff you know yeah there's less play isn't there I guess yeah. yeah Jojo what do you want to do or be when you're older I'll be bus driver when I'm older <laughs> and like I'll do handyman work bus driver thing is new is it because you stayed on the bus recently so you want to be a bus driver and a handyman yeah at the same time like, I'm going to have like different jobs different days so like like bus driver on Monday and then like someone else can drive the bus on Tuesday but I'm a handyman on Tuesday, bus driver on Wednesday, handyman on Thursday, bus driver on Friday. I thought you wanted to be a demolition man the other day. Remember we were talking about smashing things up, like smashing buildings up. I can be a handyman doing that. He could drive the bus, drop off the passengers, drive to the job, fix stuff and then destroy it. <laughs> Jojo, what are your feelings about being homeschooled? How do you feel about it? I feel, I feel happy. I feel very, very happy. Jojo, what's your favourite colour? My favourite colour is green. Yay! Comment below, free game. What's your favourite colours? Any of you green people out there? Green free game? <laughs> That's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, you're the watermelon. Yeah. Jojo, do you find anything hard about being homeschooled? Um, well, not really. Well, I I think I find like books hard to write. And... Yeah, but I don't think I really find anything else quite hard. No. Jojo, do you ever feel lonely being homeschooled? I'm not really, because I still see my friends. I guess you can count whenever you want, can't you still? Yeah, what's your favourite thing about being homeschooled? I think it's just because I can like relax at home and I just don't have to be at school and they make me to do things. like. They like make me do stuff. But is there anything that you miss about mainstream school? I really like my like lunches in in the big round hall. Is there any lesson that you struggle with? I struggle a bit with writing just because I need to like remember the words and while I'm like, writing and stuff. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. if you're writing Tom's riddles, Tom Riddle's diary, you don't struggle, do no you? No struggle. No. Yeah, I just just completely do it. Eight hours free gang. Do you enjoy doing Spanish? I do. I do, I really enjoy it. I, I really enjoy learning new words and stuff. On a scale of one to 10, how much do you rate mummy and daddy being good teachers? <gasps> a hundred, that's A ah, hundred, woohoo! Who's better teacher, mummy or daddy? Mummy! What? Yeah! No. Jojo, are you happy after being homeschooled? Yeah, I am. So that Thank is you. all of the questions, guys. That's all of them, Jojo. Ooh. Nice. Well done. You answered those questions really well. And thank you so much, Free Gang, for asking all of those questions. We really, really enjoyed answering them. And I hope it's cleared up a lot of the questions you guys have had a lot of the time because we've noticed little questions popping up here and there. So we're really happy to do this Q&A for you guys. And Jojo's disappeared again. He's got to play over there. As all of the questions are done now, I'm going to share with you something that I wrote for Jojo's teacher on the last day when we left. The reason we wanted to write something for her was because we didn't want her to think that it was anything to do with her why we made this decision she was the most loveliest teacher she was great she made the decision harder for us she gave him so much time and she had like 31 children but she just did her best in that situation and absolutely beautiful beautiful woman she yeah. really was so we wanted to write something for her so on the last day we went in we gave her a gift and a card and you read out the card to her and yeah which is what we had, and, I had written in there so yeah I just we really wanted to share this with you because I just thought it was a really beautiful poem so here we go from the morning drop off and your welcoming smile that begins our little boy's day of learning meanwhile mummy and daddy say goodbye temporarily replaced by a special kind of guardian that owns that smiling face not just any normal teacher, but a special person who knows exactly how to engage our boy to ensure his imagination grows, making every day an adventure, engaging him with such intrigue and giving him so much extra time, more than we could believe. You ensured he got every bit of support that he could ever need. Time out for exercise, his own desk, his cushion and a new testing book to read. Keeping him close on trips whilst always giving thorough explanation of what is to come so he's comfortable with the newfound information. Thank you for being beautiful and for blessing our child with your wonderful teachers and energy. For in his life a better teacher we doubt there will ever be. We were blessed to have him there with you in your teaching space and we thank you for even allowing us to visit that place. 
No doubt more angelic souls will go there and receive your dedicated time and your dedicated love and energy, so thoughtful and kind. But for now in this place, his journey is now coming to an end and we thank you for being part of his adventure and therefore we send you the highest love and best wishes. But we want you to know that your teachings are not the reason of why he will now go. In fact, your commitment and care instead have made it a lot more testing to make this decision we have, as your time for him was such a blessing. Thank you for everything you've given our special little son, and know that you have helped him hugely as his new learning journey has just begun. You will be forever in our hearts and memories after the positive imprint you have made, and be safe in the knowledge this summer of the amazing contribution that you gave. Oh, you've gone again, have you? <laughs> You're right. Crying. Mm. <laughs> it just it like it just brings it all back, you know. <laughs> I'm not crying for sadness, Jojo. I mean, she was just such a beautiful person, wasn't she? She did make the decision a bit harder for us. Yeah. Even though we knew it was the best thing for him. It's been a whole year since I've heard that and I did I did. I didn't think I would cry about it. I that. didn't think he would cry. Even though we were resolute in our decision to homeschool Jojo, it was important to us that we validated her influence and importance in teaching him and to let her know that this is just something we find that is based on what he needs and it's nothing to do with her. And, yeah, you know, and she did such she did such an amazing job. She yeah. really did. But we hope you have enjoyed this video, guys. Leave your comments below if you have anything to say about Jojo homeschooling or what you think about homeschooling. Now you know more information about what we do and why we do it. As for shout outs, we will do them in the next video. As this has been a very, very long video. So if you do have any shout out requests, leave them in the comments below. We'll get them done in the next video for you, gang. And if any of you are new to this channel and you're liking about our lives, homeschooling, you want to see more and what we get up to, we'd love it if you subscribed. For those of you that are subscribed, hit that notification bell so you're kept up to date. And when we do upload videos, you don't want to miss out. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.